Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and today's video is about what's inside this bottle. Now, what is it? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it and how to use it coming up next. So what we have here is Mechanic in a Bottle. And I gotta tell you, it's kind of a funny name, I know, but there's a story that goes along with it. So bear with me, because I gotta tell the story. A few years ago, I went to my garage and my lawnmower had been stolen. Now I had a backup lawnmower, and it only had three wheels, but I figured in a pinch, if ever I needed to use it, I could. So I pulled out the three-wheeled lawnmower and I tried to fire it up and it just wouldn't start because it had been sitting for many years. So I figured, oh, well, you know what? Maybe if I just change the spark plug, I'll be okay. So I went to the hardware store. I went to purchase the spark plug and right next to the spark plug was this bottle here. Mechanic in a bottle, fix poor or non-running engines. And I thought to myself, that sounds really corny, but it might work. And maybe I need a backup to the spark plug. And I figured, well, for $4.99, because I think at the time, that's what it was. I purchased it. Got home, I put the spark plug in, I pulled the cord, and guess what? It didn't start. So then I turned to this here, and I thought to myself, I don't think this stuff is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because it was my Hail Mary pass, right? So I put it in, per the directions, I let it sit overnight. And when I came back in the morning to start the lawnmower, I had absolutely no confidence that something that was called mechanic in a bottle was gonna work. So I pulled that cord and guess what? It fired up right away and I was sold from that moment on. So today's video is to share with you what I discovered a few years ago and has helped me. Now here's the thing, it's March, folks are getting ready, spring is here, and folks are getting ready to go out and work in their yards in a few weeks. So maybe you've got a lawnmower, maybe you've got a pressure washer, maybe you have a weed whacker that's gas fed, it's not going to start, or maybe you're afraid it's not going to start. This is the thing for you. Now what I have here is a pressure washer, and it's been sitting for at least two, maybe even three years. And I know that chances are it's not going to start unless I have a little help. So I've disconnected the spark plug per the manufacturer's suggestions because chances are you're going to have to drain your gas tank before you add the mechanic in a bottle. Now my gas tank is bone dry because, well, it's been sitting for over two years. And also, if there's a little bit of gas in the carburetor or in the gas lines, you have to make certain that you get that out as well. Now here's the thing, make certain that you read the directions. I only have to add half a bottle to the gas tank, but you may have to add more if you have a larger engine, like a riding mower. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add it to the gas tank. This pressure washer just takes half a bottle. It's my mark right there. All I wanna put in is two ounces. Oh, a little more to go. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that's it. We're just gonna put the cap back on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna to fill it up with gas all the way and we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully it's gonna start. Okay everybody, it's time to give it a shot, right? I'm outside, it's the next day. It has sat overnight. One of the things that I failed to mention is you have to make certain that that mechanic in the bottle makes it to the carburetor. Okay, so it's time to add the gasoline take off the cap here. I'm going to stick in my funnel and we're going to fill the tank. Okay. 
That's it. Okay, that's on there. We're close. I gotta just maybe change that up just a little bit. Oh, ready? Here we go. There we go. Now, if you have a piece of lawn equipment that was hard starting or didn't start last season or has been sitting for a long time, you may want to consider this. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.